Merry Meet YouTube, and welcome back to Merlin's Magical Boxes. Uh, today we have an unboxing as usual. <laughs> this time it is the Witch's Moon, and this is their September box. <laughs> I'll give you a peek of how full this is. They really pack everything in there, and they do pack it so well. So this time we start with a sigil, and from the looks of it, that almost looks like um, zodiac symbols. So we also have our oracle card, and this is absolutely beautiful show you the artwork on the other side. This is really nice. This is titled Forgiveness. Nothing can be gained by holding on to past disappointments. I really have to agree with that. One thing I've learned in life is forgiving someone is not for their benefit. It's for your own so you can move on with your life. That was a lesson hard learned for me. So this box is entitled Celestial Wisdom. Impossible to disregard, the cosmos have played a determining role in the patterns presented on our path. How easy it is to forget that we, too, are made of cosmic stardust, harnessing within us a limitless potential to learn, grow, and achieve. Although we have the ultimate key holders to the grand door of destiny, the universal stars are there to guide us through. In this very special collection we have curated and sourced the tools necessary to connect to the stars and the ever-changing messages that are available to us. Join us, this, uh, join us this month of September as we connect and become one with celestial wisdom. It is important to always remember that, when your, path is, that your path is sacred to your individual self. So that is really cool. And this month, oh, oh, this is this is unexpected. <coughs> Excuse me. This month you don't get one, but you get two uh, pages for your uh, Book of Shadows artwork pages. This is uh, the Zodiac and Celestial Sky. So I'll just give you a look at that. Like I say, these are so well done. It is absolutely beautiful. And the next one is for Mabon. Turn it so that you're not getting the glare from the light. As I say the artwork that they put into the the art they put into these and the time and effort, just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. All right, let's get into the main box here, shall we? Keep the list here beside near me. So the first thing we have is our herbs, our three herbs for the month, and let me just find them because the writing is so hard for me to read. Uh, this is uh, the astral dust, and this is a sacred smoke blend. Oh, almost reminds me of peppermint. And our next herb is Herbajon. Uh, also known as St. John's Wort. So I do have that, I just don't have it under that name. And our third is compass weed or rosemary is one of the oldest herbs so that's our third herb and you get a nice supply of them you get a nice size package of each of the herbs oh oh mm, smells like Christmas dinner <laughs> uh, you do get a nice size package of herbs every time from uh, the witch's moon and I really really like that Compared to some others that I receive, like just a, such a tiny amount doesn't 
really register, <laughs> even on a scale. So our next item is our sacred salt, and it has beautiful artwork and it says Luna on it. Oh, it has beautiful herbs in there, and just, oh, I can't wait to use that. So let's see what sacred salt is. Luna Goddess Sacred Salt. And and it just says, allow your inner chatter to slowly stop cluttering your emotions as you clear your mind. Alright, there's so many big items in this box this month. This, I know, is going to be our candle. Wow, this handwriting is very difficult for me to read. I am so sorry. So, the Elder Guide Enchanted Spell Candle. And as you can see, it's a black beeswax candle with a very long wick. and all those beautiful herbs all over it. Oh, it just smells amazing. So that's going to be great to, to burn that and use that spell. Like, yeah, found our oil. I love how everything is so well packaged with the Witch's Moon. And I've seen other reviews in the States, they're just packaged just as well going within the United States as they do for their international customers. I may need to have to get my eyes checked. Uh, Starry Wisdom Magical Anointing Oil. Uh, the Starry Wisdom Magical Anointing Oil has been created with the intention of enhancing the search for knowledge that flows through your life. It's got herbs in there and it looks like there's mini crystals. Oh, it smells amazing. I don't know if you can see the herbs that are in there. Yeah. Um, like I said, it's just very difficult with the handwriting. It's beautiful writing. I just can't read it to save my life. I knew I should have paid attention to my grandmother when I was younger. Oops! Sorry, Grandma! Alright, the next thing we have, this looks like it's wrapped in, uh, for a present at an office party. It's a simple round paper. Well, this is an interesting piece. Looks like a piece of stone. And, uh, oh! Okay, I am assuming that this, this is cool. This is now very cool in my mind. A shooting star specimen. We have been working to source these shooting stars for many moons. These specific meteorites are known as Campo del Celio Iron Meteorite. This shooting star fell from the sky 4,700 years ago, about 1,000 kilometers northwest of Buenos Aires, Argentina. This meteorite is now a protected specimen and can only be harvested with special permission from the government. This extraterrestrial stone has been long known to have supernatural powers, revered by many cultures. Oh, that is, that is super cool. I, I thank you so much. Oh, and we have a very heavy stone from the looks of it here. Once again, in a beautiful satin bag. So let's see what we have in here love these bags. You can always reuse them for so many different spells and protection charms that you can just carry with, oh, with you. This is huge. 
and absolutely gorgeous and I can already tell the video is never going to be able to do this stone any kind of justice. Let's see here. I want to say, ah, I was going to say it's amethyst, but it's smoky quartz. We have placed a piece of smoky quartz in this collection to assist you in connecting to the phenomena, phenomena outside of yourself. As the grounding energies of the smoky quartz keep your, you present on the earth in your physical body, the ethereal magnet that it holds allows fairy spirit guides and higher sources of wisdom to come into manifestation. Awesome! And like I said, that is a huge piece of smoky quartz. It is absolutely lovely. And our next item is going to be our incense. Once again, we get a bundle of beautifully smelling incense. And let me see here. Seeker of Knowledge Incense. As you have, as you burn this incense, allow the beautiful woody and evergreen aroma to waft through your sacred space. Before you conduct a reading of any type of divination, light this incense to receive further knowledge on the subject you are asking about. We enjoy burning this incense while we take time to read, study, and document within our Book of Shadows. That's really nice. It's got an amazingly, like, it's got this fragrant, woody sense smell to it. It's absolutely lovely. And I've been saving the largest item for last. And it comes in this gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous um, satin bag. It's beautiful. And oh my, I'm going to need my magical tool of opening boxes for this one. This is Astrological Oracle Cards. This is, this is nice. And... Let's get, let's get this open real quick, and we'll be able to take a look at some of the cards that are in it. Because looking at the, the front of the box, it's absolutely beautiful. And it comes with a book, so you can un interpret the cards and what they mean. And the cards are actually quite large. So wish me luck. I don't want to damage these. Come on. There we go, I think. Yeah, that got it. I don't think I damaged any of the cards. And it just has, on the back, it has this lovely little design. And then, depending on what your sign is, it has it artwork for it. Just going to try and find mine here real quick. These are so, so beautiful. sign. There it is. So that's the drawing for Aquarius, which is my birth sign. And it's also got planetary signs uh, representing Sol, or the Sun. And there's Luna for the moon. And of course my personal favorite, I am so sorry to the international astrological community, but Pluto is still a planet in at least the way I see things. So that was our box for the month of September from the wonderful people at Witch's Moon. Just going to check the list here. 
astrological oracle cards, shooting star specimen, zodiac sky artwork, zodiac enchantment sigil, sigil so I was right, that was the zodiac sigil, uh, spell candle, oil, sacred salt, smoky quartz, incense, uh, the three herb blends, the personal oracle reading, and of course, they always include a parchment paper. And what I love about their parchment paper is I, I have it set aside specifically for spells. So if I have a spell where I need to write something on a small piece of paper, I will cut a portion of their parchment and I will use it for that. And it, I, it lasts a long time and I can use this one piece for a number of different spells. And of course the Mavon Book of Shadows artwork. So that's everything for today. I will leave uh, the information for the Witch's Moon in the description box below. Uh, as you know, I love this box and I get it every month. Have been for almost a year now. Uh, I, w I started with them when they were still uh, the Moon Box and now they're the Witch's Moon Box. But I will leave their information for their website down there in the description box, and I urge you to check them out. Until next time, YouTube, blessed be.